North Hill and Olin College held its third annual Fun for Innovation and Aging event on Tuesday, April 12th. Following a reception for all those attending, the topic of the lecture was Unexpected Harmony, Art, Biology, and Technology. Let's learn more about how those elements can be combined. Olin is a school that's an engineering school, and we also offer art, and there is a growing interest in integrating the humanities along with engineering. Biology, art, and technology each inform each other. There are similarities between biology and art and technology, and there's pretty significant differences as well. However, an understanding of each area, I think, provides a much fuller understanding uh, for an individual as they uh, attempt to be creative. The lecture brought together senior residents from North Hill Living Community and students from Oling College. With the reception before the lecture, the audience had a chance to discuss Helen's idea that art, biology, and technology could be combined. My background and training is in visual art. Uh, my work is mainly photo-based. I do drawing and printmaking as well. The ideas that were so central to my existence as a scientist uh, provide the motivation for art, as all artists, I think, really draw from their background and experience as they come to make art. I'm going to give examples on how uh, technology has influenced biology in sometimes unexpected ways, how biology has influenced technology in sometimes unexpected but harmonious ways, and in some ways how art has, has uh, influenced those fields as well. Two examples of art, biology, and technology intertwining is with DNA sequencing, which began as a manual form of science before transforming into an automatic form relying on data and 3D printing. Now, in the 80s, when 3D printing was first developed, it was developed for a method called rapid prototyping. And the whole idea was a way to actually make parts for industrialization that could be very quickly uh, made and then tested and then reformulated. However, it's found its way into biology with very exciting possibilities of being able to print stem cells, to be able to make perhaps one day organs. And then, of course, in art, it's yet another tool. Uh, artists have always gravitated towards technological innovation, whether it was gouache, going to oil paint, going to acrylic. They're always very interested in employing the technologies. And of course, it's a huge consumer tool now. There was so much specialization that I witnessed in school, and the emphasis is on really uh, being very narrow. I never saw it that way, and so my goal is to show people that uh, an interest in all of these areas is legitimate. For the Needham Channel News, I'm Jillian Tedesca.